Hello everyone, this is Kapur Bennett, again with our practical question 4 on Excel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more of these lessons that are always loaded on YouTube. So today we are handling practical question 4 under Excel and it says St. Teresa Josephs of Nazareth High School has decided to do two kinds of tests marked out of 40 and 60 respectively. Use the information given below to answer the questions that follow. So below is a table with names set 1, set 2, total mark, grade. Roman 1. Using a spreadsheet package of your choice, type the above data as exactly it appears and save it as student records in your folder. So we are going to create a folder and this folder we are going to call it practical 4. You enter, you open Excel and then you type the information there. So this is our information. We can save it as on the desktop, practical four. They say that we give it a name as student records. So the name here is student records. You save. So when you look at our table here, original table here, this, this row is bordered and then it is, uh, they applied what we call text wrapping. So we can select our row, we board and then we wrap text from that area. So after wrapping text, we can align center and then top we can reduce that area we also reduce here we reduce here and also there like that so this is what you call text wrapping this is what we call text wrapping then next to our instruction is calculate the total mark for each student. So, remember they said that set 1 is marked out of 40, set 2 out of 60. So they want us to calculate for total marks. How are we going to do this? We shall say, equal signs, open brackets, B2 out of 100 times 40 plus open brackets C2 out of 100 times 60 close brackets press enter so our total mark is 60.1 so the formula is here so you can autofill the column to get the remaining max. Next on our instruction is using the if statement assign grades to students using their total max in a way that max above 80 D1. 75 to 79, D2, 70 to 74, C3, 60 to 69, C4, 50 to 59, C5, then the rest and F9. So here we shall say equal signs if open brackets if D2 is greater or equal to 80, comma, open quotes, D1 
cross quotes comma if open brackets d2 is greater equal to d2 is greater equal to 70 is greater equal to 75 is greater equal to 75 comma open quotes d2 cross quotes comma if open brackets d2 is greater equal to 70 comma open quotes c3 cross quotes comma if open brackets d2 is greater equal to is greater equal to is greater equal to 60 comma c4 in quotes comma if open brackets d2 is greater equal to 50 comma open quotes c5 cross quotes and then the rest and f so after quotes you put a comma open quotes put f9 remember our expression is ending so we don't open another if so put f9 in quotes cross with two three four five brackets so our expression is there you can press enter you autofill the rest of the cells save changes next on our instruction is add a column comment and determine the comments as follows 80 plus excellent 70 to 79 very good 60 to 69 tried 50 to 59 fair otherwise work hard so we add a new column called comment then we shall say equal signs if open brackets if d2 is greater equal to 80 comma open quotes excellent cross quotes comma if open brackets d2 is greater equal to 70 comma open quotes very good cross quotes comma if open brackets d2 is greater equal to 60 comma try it is greater equal to 60 comma open quotes try it cross quotes comma if open brackets d2 is greater equal to 50 comma open quotes fair close quotes and then the rest is work hard after that put a comma open quotes work hard close quotes and close with four brackets one two three four that is our expression then you press enter and then auto fill the column like that save changes next now instruction is to apply red or borders apply all red borders so meaning that we shall highlight our work we shall highlight our work after we right click format cells 
under format cells we shall go to border border tab you come to color choose red pick this thick one outline pick this grid inside click ok so you save changes next on our instruction is select the names comma set one and total columns to form a column chart with appropriate title and labels save it as pictorial analysis so we select student names hold down control select set one and then total mark those are the columns that we select names set one and total max to form a column chart so we go to insert down arrow column choose that first one so from here under design tab you can move chart from here you write there pictorial pictorial analysis click ok so here is our chart on its new sheet so under layout come to chart title above chart we say a chart showing showing names sorry a chart showing set one comma set one and EOT and total max e set one and total max against names press enter then we come to put the y and x axis we come to axis titles primary horizontal title below axis right there names press enter come to axis title primary vertical vertical title we write there max press enter save changes so we have the title we have the x axis and we have the y axis labels next using this chart convert the values for set one into a line graph so when you look at our key set one is blue total mark is red so click on one of the blue bars for set one they are now highlighted right click on any of them you come to change series chart type you click line and then you click ok so save changes next on our instruction is save changes and make a printout so our work is basically done sheet one and pictorial analysis we have the work done so please subscribe to my youtube channel for more lessons as they will be loading thank you for watching